speech by Fed Chair Jerome Powell. He is speaking at a summit in Wyoming and expected to address the money issue impacting every single one of us, inflation. Business contributor Lydia Moynihan joins us now. Lydia, are investors anticipating any big announcements on rate hikes? What is the expectation here? Well, Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Jerome Powell has always sort of said he views this as where he gets to lay out his ideas and his vision. Um, he wants it to be more nerdy and wonky and, and talk about all these ideas. But, of course, markets are going to look at his speech and just nitpick anything they can for a clue about what he's going to do next. Um, this is the first time since 2019 that we've had bankers and policy experts and journalists from around the world go back to Jackson Hole. And everyone's also very cognizant of the virtual summit that was held last year in, in lieu of actually going to Jackson Hole. And in that summit, um, Federal Reserve Chairman Powell actually dismissed inflation. He was very um, sort of laissez-faire about it, said it would definitely go away. He wasn't concerned. So that is certainly going to be in the back of everyone's mind that he did make those comments last year. And so I think there is a sense among investors that um, he might have to sort of redeem himself because he was uh, just very sort of relaxed and dismissive of inflationary concerns last year at this time. Nerdy and wonky in a speech? Say less, Lydia. I'm going to be watching. I can't wait. Now, there is a tightrope that he's walking here because his goal is 2 to 3 percent inflation. We are above 8 percent right now. So he's got a signal that we're going to keep doing things to bring inflation down without tanking the economy. What is that tightrope? How does he walk it? People refer to it as sort of this soft landing, and he is trying to fly a very precarious plane. Um, and, and I think what people expect, given that he has been so dismissive uh, previously of inflationary concerns, a lot of investors think he's going to have to sort of drill down today and, and just acknowledge that um, this is something that he's going to fight. And people think that he may because of how he's acted in, in, in past, he may have to be a lot more hawkish. Um, but again, we don't necessarily expect a specific policy announcement today. It, it, he's not going to come out and say, this is exactly what I'm doing next month. But um, certainly investors will be looking for, for clues in his language to figure out what he may be saying. But everyone expects that he's going to have to really acknowledge the significance of inflation at this go around. He must have to. All right. That's Lydia Moynihan live in New York for us this morning. Thank you, Lydia. New, uh, new overnight, forgive me, another American politician visiting Taiwan. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.